In this video, I'm going to show you how to leave verbal feedback in Google Classroom and Documents using Moat. Moat is an incredible free Chrome extension that gives you the ability to give verbal feedback to students via Google Classroom or directly into their documents. The reason why this is such a great tool to be using for remote learning or even just normal classroom learning is because it will improve engagement since these messages are personalised as though the teacher is talking directly to you. Furthermore, you can pair it with marking using the rubric tool inside of Google Classroom to make marking easier for you as a teacher, but also more detailed and personalised for a student. And if you're interested in getting Moat, there'll be a link in the description box below. To use Moat inside of Google Classroom, once it's installed, you need to head on into an assignment and create a private comment. And as you can see at the bottom right, the Moat logo is there. If we clicked on this, it will start an audio recording. And all we need to do is narrate over somebody's work, analyze it, give feedback, tell something the students got wrong, or even congratulate them on their work that they've completed. And then once you're done, all you need to do is click done on the left-hand side, and it will generate a link, which should look like this. If you would then post this onto Google Classroom, there are two ways students can access this. If students have the Moat extension installed, they'll be able to play it directly from within Google Classroom. If not, that link that it just created, students can click on that and it will take them to a page which looks like this. And from here, students can play the audio recording that you've sent them, and then students can respond either directly back into Google Classroom, or they can respond using the two emojis on the side. The confused one, which shows that they don't understand this feedback and they may need a little bit more help understanding or analyzing. And then the diamond one, which shows that they understand and then they'll complete the task that you may have set them in that audio recording. And you'll be able to see what emojis they've put later on. Inside of a document, the process is exactly the same, but this time you can be more specific by highlighting and commenting on different words or different parts of the document. And as we did last time, you just need to create a brand new comment and then click on the Moat logo. And then it will start your audio recording and you can give feedback or help the student if they're a bit stuck or whatever you need to do. And then click done and it will generate our link. But from here, if you go to the bottom right and you click on this pen icon, you have the ability to add your transcripts of what you've said inside of your voice note. You can listen back to your voice note if you wanted to, and you can even have the ability to translate it into a plethora of different languages if you wanted to. Finally, a great tool to have in Moat is the Moat Book, which is basically a storage space where you can save and store your voice notes, which enables you to reuse them in different students' work. And this gives you the ability to bulk record these and then post these, which will save a lot of time. And you can add voice notes to your Moat Book simply by clicking Save As, and then giving your note a title. Following this, you want to save, and there'll be a little notification underneath saying your note has been saved to your Moat Book. But how do you reuse Moats using the Moat Book? To do this, all you want to do is create a new comment, and this time, instead of just single clicking on the Moat logo, we want to hold onto it. We can click one of the options that we've already saved, for example, this one that I've just saved. And then all we have to do is just click comment and it will make a copy of the moat that you've saved into from your notebook and it will import it into this document. And the final option we're going to cover inside of moat is the ability to see if people have seen or listened to your moats. To do this, what you want to do is head on up to the moats extension icon at the top right and then head on down to my activity and engagement. From here, it will open up a page with all of your voice notes that you've created. And from here, you have the ability to change a few things. For example, you can view the availability. You can have them public, hidden, or you can delete them. You can listen or download your voice notes. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see if students have seen your voice note, if they've listened to your voice note, and if they've posted an emoji and which one. Now what you want to do is watch our video on five of the best tools to use for remote learning. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.